This is the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for Wednesday, the 27th of December. I'm Michael Groff. Another Chamber of Commerce kind of day out there today. Mostly sunny to partly cloudy sky. Temperatures up at the mid-60s. And for the rest of the week, more of the same. A bit of a warming trend, in fact. We can see highs topping out around or maybe just a degree or two above 70 by the end of the week and this weekend. But the forecast turns a little bit more interesting the further out we go. By late this weekend and next week, more of an unsettled weather pattern starts to take place, an active weather pattern across much of the western United States. That could include Arizona. Of course, questions revolving around where, when, and how much precipitation there could be, and what about temperatures? And yes, of course, we're going to talk about that New Year's Eve forecast. So a lot to get into. Let's do it here as we check that almanac from yesterday. 64 degrees, the afternoon high, 45 the morning low, 65 and 44 are those averages for this time of year. Outside now, just after 11 o'clock, there are some high clouds out there, partly cloudy right now, 54 degrees at Sky Harbor, dew point 34, 47% the humidity. It's a light wind and the barometer is steady. Upper level weather pattern across the nation features that big low that brought that wintry mess over the nation's midsection. It's moving off to the east and... Luckily, we're seeing an end to the blizzard conditions and the ice storm. That's some good news. Out here for the southwest, a shortwave ridge is building in, but it's kind of a dirty ridge. We're going to see some high clouds coming in with that, but temperatures will warm up several degrees. The watch warning map with the system developing off the west coast, a number of gale warnings and high wind watches and winter weather conditions will return to the Pacific Northwest. No doubt about that, but for now... We'll stay quiet here. The convective outlook for today, no organized areas of severe weather around the nation. Let's take a look at the precipitation outlook. This is valid through Wednesday morning of next week. Rain amounts in Phoenix, nothing. Statewide, not much. Yes, we might see a shower this weekend, maybe early next week, but things are looking a little bit more interesting just beyond this period as well. We'll talk about what's going on with that in more detail. In fact, more detail than we normally do. And we'll show you what's going on here as we check out the models. Here we go. This is the GFS. It is the 12Z run. This is valid at 5 o'clock this afternoon. Low pressure over the nation's heartland. There's that ridge building in here across the southwest, a fairly dry northwesterly flow aloft. What it means for us down at the surface for the rest of the day today. How about mostly sunny to partly cloudy? High temperatures anywhere from about 62 to 66. Should just be an absolutely gorgeous day. Tonight, we're looking at mostly clear sky in the evening, some clouds overnight, lows upper 30s to mid 40s tomorrow. Some clouds around at times, high temperatures, upper 60s to about 70. We could even sneak to the low 70s potentially, upper 60s and low 70s on Friday with some clouds. Now, as we get to the weekend, a little short wave is going to start to come our way by Saturday. The GFS actually shows this thing going negative tilt as it comes into the southwest. Now, there's not a ton of moisture with this, and there's not a lot of dynamics with this feature. Nevertheless, uh, the day on Saturday looks fairly dry, partly cloudy sky and high temperatures, upper 60s and low 70s. But by Saturday night, we could see a shower around here. It's not out of the question. Now, probably doesn't amount to a whole lot, uh, if anything. Uh, most of you probably don't see any rain at all, but we're going to mention at least a small chance of a shower on Saturday night, early Sunday morning. And then the day on Sunday, this is your New Year's Eve, looks pretty quiet. Could there be a shower early in the morning? Yes, but for the most part, we'll call it partly cloudy. The only thing that we will note here is that it will be cooler. Highs uh, upper 50s to about the mid 60s here for the south central deserts of Arizona. Now, for that all important New Year's Eve, the festivities and all of that, when you're bringing in the new year at midnight, looks pretty quiet. Uh, uh, some clouds around, but other than that, uh, temperatures about midnight for new year. I'd say upper 40s, low 50s here in Phoenix. Should be pretty nice. And the New Year's Day itself, another trough is coming on in here, and we have seen the models handle this differently, but recent runs of the GFS show a slightly deeper system coming on here and a little bit more moisture, too. So we'll start to introduce some chances of rain here by late in the day on New Year's Day. Partly cloudy, high temperatures somewhere in the mid-60s, I'd say. Monday night into the day on Tuesday, we could still see a shower here. And again, temperatures uh, probably somewhere in the low to mid-60s. 
Uh, we'll keep an eye on that because temps continue to trend down on some of our model runs uh, with more unsettled weather. And then a broadly unsettled pattern continues to take shape across much of the western United States as we go out to a week from today. Uh, this is Wednesday, the 3rd of January. Got another trough coming our way. And if that's right, we're probably dry on Wednesday. Maybe, but by Thursday, this is January the 4th, well, that system's looking pretty interesting as it comes on in here. And yes, we could see some rain around here, some showers and some high elevation snow. Now, this is not going to be quite as robust a system, at least right now. It doesn't look to be uh, quite as impressive as the one that came through here late last week. However, watch that. Still going to have enough moisture around, certainly for scattered to numerous showers, though. And that would be great. Get some rain in here for the new year, just after the new year. Uh, we could really use it. We're still very much in a drought here. And uh, those ski resorts could use all the snow they can get. We want to see as much rain and m as much snow as possible before we get to the dry season. Let's go out 10 days. This is Friday the 5th. And again, that low is starting to move on out. But another system is well off the West Coast developing here. And so we would be dry in this scenario. But just for the heck of it. Let's trudge out further into fantasy land. I don't normally do this. Uh, I don't normally go on beyond 10 days, but <clears throat> just for the heck of it, let's see. This is the GFS out at 11 days. This is Saturday, the 6th of January. Look at that bowling ball low coming into the southwest. And I show this because we have seen recent runs that show a, an active pattern and uh, fairly uh, impressive low pressure developing over the southwest United States sometime out here by about 10, 11, 12 days. Does that mean this is going to happen? Of course not. This is fantasy land. Anything could happen. We could see a huge ridge. We could see 80 degrees. We could see uh, a, an incredible winter storm here or anything in between. This, that's why it's fantasy land. However, uh, model trends do suggest unsettled weather out here at and beyond 10 days. And if that is right, look at this. <clears throat> and a lot of rain and mountain snow around, and uh, that would mean much cooler temperatures, too. All right, let's check out precipitation. This is coming off the GFS Ensemble. Uh, this is going to go uh, well out there in uh, to January. Obviously, out uh, two weeks. Would that be uh, from today? That's uh, January uh, 9th. And so, 10th. And that's a, not much, actually. I mean, the GFS ensemble suggests under two-tenths of an inch of rain. The European ensemble, however, much more active here, shows over three-quarters of an inch, many members over that. But there is a spread. You've got some members that show nothing at all. So, obviously, we're going to watch this. But the clear trend, especially off the European and its ensemble suite, is for more precipitation. Temperatures off the national blend of models. Let's keep it going here. Temps warming up into the weekend. Highs getting into the low 70s. But after that, temps do get back closer to normal as we get into the new year. <clears throat> and that is going to do it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. My next video due back here tomorrow morning. Should you happen to enjoy these videos, be sure to subscribe, like, share, click that notification bell, leave those comments, questions, and suggestions. And if you really like what we do here, you want to support us monetarily like Chaser Jim did yesterday, well, you can make your donations to us by clicking that little thanks icon below the video here on YouTube. $2, $5, $5,000, all of it helps in the furtherance of this channel, and we really do appreciate that. The executive producer of the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion is my one and only, the sweetest of all time, the Asian sensation, and the proprietor of SweetChildAZ.com.org and the Facebook page of the same name, Sweet Child Arizona, talking about my Michelle, so check her out. Also, <clears throat> um, want to give a special shout out here to my mom. Yes, today is her birthday. And so, uh, shout out to Carol Groff. And uh, she, uh, I, uh, does she watch these videos? Sometimes, so maybe she will see this. Uh, but anyway, yes. Happy birthday, Mom. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. All of your continued support, so greatly appreciated. Please be safe and have yourselves a beautiful Wednesday.